Hey guys, welcome to the Half and Halo channel. My name is Christine. I might release this on St. Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. It is one of my favorite holidays. I like it more than I'm older now. I don't know why I just do. I hope to get married someday on that day. Um, someday. Okay, so I'm reading from Doing Virtues, the Saints and Angels book on St. Valentine. I may pronounce things wrong um, because I have a learning disability, so don't shoot the messenger. Okay, so we're going to read on St. Valentine. Okay, it says, uh, do you have people in your life never expected to be friends with you when diversity, when you diversify your close circle, it helps gain much needed perspective. I'm going to skip down here. Uh, we're going to skip down. This was the case with St. Valentine, one of the most widely known Roman martyrs born and executed in the third century while the details of his life are uncertain. He was depicted quite frequently in legends and artwork and is closely associated with romantic love and a holiday many people celebrate. If you ever exchange candy or flowers on February 14th, perhaps you give a passing thought to St. Valentine, but how does his life tie into your beliefs? According to most popular story, St. Valentine was a Roman priest. He lived in a society that was considered highly modern, but it also was largely pagan. In his work and through the social status, St. Valentine encountered many high-ranking officials, and he always used these opportunities to share his beliefs on Christianity and try to spread the light of spirituality to the pagan Romans. Eventually, Valentine was placed under arrest by Judge Asterisk for preaching. Two, the two began discussing Christianity, and the judge was intrigued. But he wanted proof of all the great things St. Valentine was talking about. The judge brought his blind daughter, Julia, to the to St. Valentine. A kind-hearted and empathetic man, St. Valentine, formed a tender friendship with Julia. He spoke with her and listened to her stories. One day, when St. Valentine wished to leave a kind note for Valentine to Julia, he wrote a scrap on a scrap of paper, handed it to her, and touched her eyes. Thanks to the powers of his kindness and due to Julia's desire to see her friend's uh, note, he regained uh, her vision permanently. For St. Valentine, this was a big moment because this incident, the judge was eager to listen to St. Valentine's teachings. Uh, he was quite ready to learn. So St. Valentine told the judge that he will destroy the pagan idols around the house uh, fast for three days and undergo baptism. Uh, when the judge fulfilled the request, there was a further positive impact. And now that he was converted, he felt sympathy for all the Christians and, that he had persecuted and freed the religious prisoners uh, under his authority. Talk about momentum uh, to your advantage. This was one of the heroic acts heroic acts that St. Valentine accomplished during his short life. But because St. Valentine lived in a time of hostility toward Christians, he wasn't home free from just he had converted the judge, just from converting the judge. He continued to spread his love for Christ through Rome, and he was arrested um, more for this crime. This uh, time, St. Valentine his luck would hold, wouldn't hold. He was arrested by the by the emperor himself, Claudius Gothicus, and the emperor was not so open to the conversion. He told Saint Valentine that he had to he had two choices: renounce his Christianity or be beaten and killed. Saint Valentine refused to take the first option. He was executed on the emperor's command. If you are wondering how. A martyred saint became connected with the most romantic holiday. Legend says that St. Valentine loved nothing better than to marry young couples. Marriage was one of the sacred institutions of Christianity, but pagans didn't share the, the priority, this priority. By promoting wedded union, St. Valentine gently spread his message of Christianity and sacred love. Think of the time when, when uh, St. Valentine, when, like St. Valentine, you have proved your doubters wrong. It says, it is so human to think I told you so. 
or feel pride at moment. You know, I'm going to skip that. You skip all this. Um, okay, so this is aside from spectacular, well known miracle of helping a blind woman. Uh, St. Valentine was credited with helping many others. He's the patron saint of engaged couples, beekeepers, happy marriages, love, the plague stricken, and epileptics. And Valentine is often depicted with birds and roses or in presence of crippled epileptic children. Sometimes he is known as famous moments of his life, teaching his countrymen that they should not worship idols or restoring young girls' vision. Um, other times he is known as marrying young couples, weddings, a key part of St. Valentine's conversion strategy. It was a soft shell, though he could expose to the, the awesome power of love. St. Valentine showed the Romans how love for your fellow man follows out of the same fountain that our love for God does. Think of him next time you enjoy your heart-shaped piece of chocolate on Valentine's Day. Love St. Valentine. Uh, there was something I think I read wrong here. It, it said something about like the scrap of paper. He said like from your Valentine when he wrote it to that girl, Julia. Uh, I think I read it wrong. And that's how like what a Valentine was called, like writing, you know, Valentine cards and stuff how that came about is my understanding. So um, that's how it came about. Well, anyway, I hope that helps you.